what's up youtube it's Tamara and i'm back with another video as y'all can see by the title i'm doing a story time on how i was the side bitch like you got a side bitch no 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 <laughs> telling y'all about the time I found out I was a side chick and yeah like y'all just gonna y'all just gonna hear me out y'all gonna hear my side of the story let me see if I can put my camera up here a mic on my camera now so oh y'all this okay hold on but I need y'all to see me though and y'all know we have to you know we gotta spice it up a little bit with a little bit of wine you know little wine and dine y'all gonna be y'all probably gonna be on my ass in the comments but this is not no sutter home sweet red it's actually taylor pork and sweet red like this is oh. sweet red in here and i just feel the rest up and i know i should have been classy and got a cup but i already ordered a cup i already ordered me like one of them yoki cups and i ain't about to buy, i'm not about to buy another one because it ain't come yet who's about to just be spending up money not me so I will be drinking out of the bottle, so oh well, oh well, oh well. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Let's take, let's drink a little bit. Cause... Oh, what the fuck? Mm. Oh, that's liquor. That's liquor. Mmm. Yeah, but anyways, we're gonna start off with saying, uh, what should we name him? Um, so we're gonna name him. I should just say his name because I don't give a fuck. I will put an ad on that shit. Bummy. Yeah, we gonna call that nigga Bum. We gonna call him Bum. We gonna call him Bum. We gonna call his baby mama BM because that's what she is, a baby mama. And long story short, y'all, I think I was 17. Yeah, I was 17 years old, you know. I met him off of Instagram, mind you. He was like replying to my story and shit like that. He was just a nigga in my DM. So once it became more than that, it was just like, it just became more than that. Like I didn't know it was gonna become more than that, but it did, so yeah. Boom, he already had a baby mama, y'all. He already had a kid. He already had shit going on. Like, so it was like me personally, me, I didn't really pay too much attention to it because i ain't gonna lie he was selling me that dream like i'm not talking about baby mama i don't mess with my baby mama we just co-parent da, 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 da. but mind you y'all he is from chicago mind you he's his mom stayed in atlanta lithonia and yeah like she was in chicago too so it was like shit maybe he's not messing with his baby mama because they're so far apart you would never know like you'll never just think no shit like that so but his baby would come down like his baby would come and visit him from time to time like i guess she would bring him or they i don't know how i don't know how the baby you know got back and forth but of course it's got something to do with the mom and dad so but yeah, I didn't really think too much of it, but I knew like it's a possibility y'all could still be messing around with each other. Because at the time, shit, he was in Lithonia, she was in Chicago, so <laughs> that's my man. <laughs> but it wasn't my man. But okay, so boom. After all of that, um, you know, we was talking we, we was we was fucking with each other for I wouldn't say a long time, but the nigga was a cancer y'all he was a cancer just like me so let me just say this like that's why i don't believe in that shit now because when i first met him he told me he was a cancer da, 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 da. i'm like oh yeah you're my man like when i tell y'all this man was posting me and shit like he was posting me when we first met so i was like okay maybe you're not messing with your baby mama and you a cancer so it's like baby we meant for each other we're meant for each other like what the fuck you're my man and i'm your bitch so what's up Y'all, let's drink real quick. Let's drink real quick. Cause I gotta we gotta spice it up. We gotta spice it up. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. Enjoying yourself. Mm. Oh. <laughs> no shade. <laughs> but um yeah. So y'all, me being me, I'm a cancer too. So with me when he told me he was a cancer, it was just like, oh my god, like we relate so much bitch goodbye <laughs> when we was talking we was fucking with each other i was going to his house and stuff like that like 16 i'm finna turn 17 type shit so it was like 
<laughs> yeah, like I was 16, 17. Y'all know I said I was 17, but no, I was 16 and I was finna turn 17 when I first met this nigga. So like, every time I made a post on Instagram, it was always this weird per like it wasn't a weird account or nothing like that, but it was this girl, like she was just watching my story. She just I tell when I tell y'all, she didn't miss not one motherfucking story, but I never paid attention to it. I never paid attention to it until she motherfucking texts me. Like, and this is somebody that was always in my views. So the nigga ended up going to jail. That's what it was. He ended up going to jail. Y'all, he was... That nigga, I don't know. Actually, I went to his house. The first day I went to his house, he ended, he instantly posted me on his story. Like, And with that, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Sometimes when a nigga do shit like that, it'll make you like... Maybe he's not like fucking with another motherfucker. Maybe he's not... You know, when, when niggas cheat, they hide. They hide you. When niggas fucking around or being sneaky, they gonna hide you. This nigga didn't hide me. This nigga posted me the first day we met um what else yeah he, re he recorded a video of me and posted it mind you the minute he posted me his baby mama followed no, the, the reason how i found out it was his baby mama is because he said something to me he said something to me like don't mind my baby mama some 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 and i'm just like okay i just brushed it off because it was just like i don't know like it ain't gonna lie that was kind of a red flag because what you mean don't mind your baby mama like she feeling away because of whatever like she's not she's probably not no bitter baby mama i never just thought she was a bitter baby mama because that's not what she gave me like, the minute she followed me and shit like that and then he want to say all the he literally brought the shit to my attention he literally told my son don't mind my baby mama some 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 but she didn't really do shit but follow me i think i think she followed me y'all so i end up i'm so now that i'm known of her instagram page she ended up i think it was some months later this girl ended up posting a picture and she was pregnant again y'all oh that's where it gets spicy oh my god she was pregnant again like she was pregnant again y'all she had a motherfucking bump so boom i'm at work when i see this shit so i call him i called a nigga i called bum bum on the phone i'm like you got your baby mama pregnant again he talking about some no off the rip nigga like no i'm like so who baby it is he talking about some i don't know i don't know a nigga like me ain't gonna lie bro i do that a nigga like me ain't gonna lie. I'll give you that. I'll you look like that. a nigga that gonna lie. I'll give you that. I'll you look like that. a nigga that gonna lie. I understand. Boy, that's your motherfucking baby. Stop playing, nigga. You cannot play me. Like, but he played me though. He played me. He couldn't play me, but he still did. <laughs> this nigga ended up getting locked up, y'all. This is where everything just falls into place. He ended up getting locked up. Hold on, y'all. Let's take. <laughs> I probably should never drink uh drink that together. Mm-mm. By the way, y'all, I do not drink and drive. I'm just doing this story time in my car. <laughs> I do not drink and drive. Bum end up getting locked up, and his baby mama texts me. But y'all, I ain't even gonna hold y'all. This is kind of like the best part. I ain't gonna say this is the best part of the situation, but I was just so like, I felt so relieved about it because it was just like, his baby mama end up texting me, and she wasn't even, you know how most baby mamas be, oh, bitch, you fucking with my nigga, my baby daddy, da 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 She wasn't even on that. Like, she wasn't even on that at all. Like, when I tell y'all this girl was so mature, like, I was just, like, surprised my damn self. And it was like, I wasn't finna be rude or mean, because or, I'm not like that. Like, I ain't even gonna cap. I'm not that type of female that's gonna find out my nigga cheating and go for you. Like, no, I'm gonna be mad at the nigga because it's like, what the fuck I'm gonna be mad at you for? He's cheating on the both of us, baby. <laughs> what am I gonna be mad at? Like, what? I don't get it like it didn't know it wasn't it wasn't that but we was literally so mature about the situation she ended up telling me everything like everything like everything is making so much sense now but it was like it was in my face the whole time me personally so it was just like shit fuck it i'm getting locked up she ended up texting me telling me everything y'all when i tell y'all we were sending voice messages to each other <laughs> like bitch <laughs> Let me tell you about this nigga. Like she was telling me how I guess she ended up having a miscarriage. Then boom, she was pregnant. How she was pregnant again and shit like that. How she was depressed and stuff. And she was saying something about I just was watching your story every time just to see if you would post something about him. And I'm just like, yo, this is crazy. This is crazy. I don't wish this on no pregnant woman because you gotta think about it. You can't just sit them like that's what men do. Men like to get you pregnant, sit you down and dog you like i don't be understanding that not all men don't get me wrong not all men let me take that back but these men 
you gotta watch who you have a baby by like watch who you have a motherfucking baby by because these niggas will beat you up impregnate you all type of shit and Jenna, uh texting me and then we was just talking about the situation she just telling me everything like yeah i was depressed i, I was depressed because i knew y'all was talking to each other y'all had something going on and i'm just listening and i'm just telling her shit too because she ended up telling me like hey so i'm trying to get him out of jail so this word i was like no but then i'm like you know what fuck it because at the end of the day i got a good ass heart she ended up telling me oh i'm trying to get him out so the hundred dollars that i sent her she sent it back the next day but the hundred dollars was to basically bail him out of jail and i'm just like a part of me y'all when i tell y'all a part of me was like fuck this nigga like leave him in jail like what are you finna bail him out for but because of they's background and shit like that she was just telling me oh she don't have nobody for her for her. so it's like all she got is her baby daddy so she need her baby daddy to watch that goddamn kid to pay bills all type of shit that's all she knew was her baby daddy that's all she knew was bum all she knew was bum y'all so it was like shit fuck it that's how you know i got a good heart because i could have been like nah fuck that bitch ass nigga i'm not sending you nothing he is gonna have to rot in jail i was like but no lie a part of me was like that but a part of me was like man this nigga got a kid and a baby on the way so it was just like shit fuck it <laughs> So then, boom, I ended up sending her the money, y'all. She sent me the money back the next motherfucking day. And, yeah, like, that's what happened. Like, it was so fucking weird. Like, y'all, that nigga played your girl. Like, he played me. He played me. He played a real one. Like, he played a real one. And then, boom, y'all, so this is what I didn't like about the situation. Like, cool, so when everything came down the line, y'all, once we was talking in the DMs and stuff like that, we end up getting each other numbers off the rip. Like, we gonna, we end up getting each other numbers, y'all. She was just telling me, like, it would have been nice if you was pregnant and we could just co-parent and stuff like that. And I'm just like, girl, uh-uh. You too much, um... Like, I like the simple fact that she was so mature. Like, she wasn't bitter. She wasn't trying to argue. She wasn't on no weird shit. Like, she was 100 about the situation, honestly. She was 100 about it, and I really... I, that's why I fucked with her because of that. It was just a simple fact how she came at how she came at me. She did not tell y'all I was so off the nigga. Like I'm on the phone talking to her. I'm talking to BM. I'm just telling her like I ain't gonna lie. Like y'all can have it. Y'all can have at it. Like I'm good off of him. I'm good off of Bum. Cause Bum can't do nothing for me. Bum can't do a damn thing for me. So you and Bum, BM and Bum, y'all can just go. Like and I wasn't saying it in a harsh way, but I'm just telling her. I'm just letting her know. Like I promise you. <laughs> baby i'm a cancer once i'm off you i'm off you if you're a cancer then you know like once i'm off that ass i'm off that ass like there's no looking back and you're gonna want me like you're you're gonna try to crawl back i promise you i say this shit about every relationship that didn't work out for me like you're gonna want me back you're gonna want me to be in your life again i promise you that like literally boom right after that situation happened who is texting my phone who is saying so don't get me wrong he apologized he texts me he apologized he let me know everything like but it was just like you he wanted me to accept his apology and we move forward no i'm done with you like i am done with you baby you gonna have to go you gonna have to you i don't know where you're gonna go but you can't come around here no more like i'm done with you this um that's basically what happened y'all like the fuck literally he was texting my phone saying sorry oh taylor you know we was like this taylor 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 boy block <laughs> it's like no I, I didn't block him ain't gonna lie i didn't block him but i definitely ignored him like and i told him like i'm good like you got that <laughs> you got that brother a baby on the way y'all about to be a, go be a family i told him that go be a family like that's where your home is at even if it's not you need to make it right you got kids with this girl so go make it right over there and i'm good baby look this to be well now let's just say this for this to be a relationship that i've been in and a nigga took my virginity and did me like that you would really think i would be fucked up but i didn't let that shit fuck me up because it's life like you're gonna go through shit god gonna put you in situations to show you people true colors he gonna put you in situations to teach you let you learn from the situations nigga can't even say he got a baby <laughs> a nigga can't even say he got a baby mama because baby you got a what oh I'm gone, baby. <laughs> Sorry. I can't do baby mamas. So, <laughs> and it ain't nothing against niggas with baby mamas because not every nigga gonna really like fuck with his baby mama and fuck with you. You got a lot of niggas that 
know how to hey me and my baby mama we just co-parent and that's cool but not every nigga's gonna be like that not it is what it is I ain't even gonna lie that situation i bossed the fuck up like i was that this was around the time where i was finna start doing lashes like come on i took off with my motherfucking female like you know a lot of motherfuckers like to go and try to do this to make a nigga mad oh i'm gonna show a nigga what i'm gonna do and that's what i did and guess what a nigga was still in my motherfucking phone trying to beg for me to come back no the fuck I know, I know you probably missed this shit. I know you probably want this shit again, but you will never get it again. But fuck you. The fuck? I wish you the best with your kids, of course. I wish you the best with your kids. I wish you the, the, the best life ever. But fucking with you again? I will jump off a bridge before I do some shit like that. No shade. Oh my soul. <laughs> oh my soul. I would rather not. Like, mm-mm. I would rather not like if I didn't go through that how would I know what a fuck nigga is <laughs> how would I know what a fuck nigga is a bum nigga how would I know that I wouldn't so and I'm damn sure not fucking with no nigga that beat women you beat your baby mama ass and I'm not even trying to be funny and tell her business or nothing like that but I don't support domestic violence anyway so time as time go by like she'll try to dm me on instagram hey how you doing check up on me and stuff like that which i respect that like i respect that i'm not even trying to talk shit or nothing like that but she'll try to text me on instagram but the only reason why i feel weird about the situation is because every time she she'll text me to check up on me it's almost like she's trying to see if i'm still messing with him like no baby that's your that's you you're i'm not stuck with him you are go deal with that like that's the only thing like i be feeling like she'll check or she'll try to text me to check on me to try to see if i'm still messing with him like girl that nigga been gone <laughs> that nigga been gone like he's been canceled like that's the thing like people don't be realizing bro once taylor tamara is off of you you're done for like there's no so the recent times she texts me she was trying to actually come and get her lashes done she did me on instagram and she was like hey I'm going to come and uh, get my lashes done one day. And I'm just like, okay, cool. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, nah, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't really trust people for real. So it's like, it ain't no bad blood with her, but I just don't trust her. Like, I don't trust her at all because it's like, shit, I was messing with your baby daddy. Why would you want to be cool with me or want to get a service done by me? You either only trying to come around me just to see if I'm still talking to him. And it's like, baby, I've been done. Like, I'm in a whole nother relationship. I'm in a, I'm too deep in the relationship that I'm in right now. Like, I, and I don't think she knows, but like, baby, I don't, I ain't gonna say I don't think she knows. I don't think she believes that, but whatever y'all got going on is y'all. Like, you're stuck with him. You have kids with him. So go be with him. You're done. like right after that relationship y'all i kid you not god put me in a relationship and i promise you i never look back ever since hey y'all that's it for this motherfucking story time i hope you guys enjoyed this video if y'all want me to do more story times y'all gotta give me suggestions and don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe y'all let me show y'all my lashes because i'm probably wondering who did my lashes and shit like that Y'all probably wondering who did my lashes. Book your girl, me. Book me for your lashes. These are strips, y'all. I handmade them and I did my bottoms. They are so cute. It's just, I end up doing this side longer than this side to see, but I think I like shorter bottoms because the longer ones make me look scary. And baby, rawr.